What's going on Salt Strong Nation? Today I wanna to show you guys my number one hack if you're someone that fishes in dirty water to find new spots really quickly. And the first thing you're gonna to need to do is get on Google Earth, and this is not Google Maps or the Google Earth that you have on your phone. This is Google Earth on desktop because there's a feature here that's only available when you get onto a big computer, not your phone, uh, and that's this historical imagery function right here. So we can see we're in a really dirty bay system. Let's say I'm planning a trip over here. This is actually a good spot to be fishing this time of year, close to a pass or inlet, middle zone between some you know, further back winter waters, and I wanna plan you know, a fall trip out this way. So I go to scout and I'm like, man, it's really dirty water over here. What I'll do is I'll hit this historical imagery tool and start scrolling back in time to find some clear imagery. Now, not every image is gonna be crystal clear, but we just look right here. This is from 1 20, uh, 2017, and I really do like looking in the winter months uh, because generally that's when the water's clearest. In the summer, there's a lot of algae blooms uh, and really heavy winds, uh, depending on where you live. But in this area, you know, the winter time is really great to find some clear water images. So now, as opposed to what we were just looking at, I can see in really heavy detail where all these little oyster bars end and there's little cuts between them. I can find all kinds of nifty little spots. Look at this right here. On this flat, there's a really heavy depth change between these two islands that I might not have even been actually able to spot. Yeah, it, it's almost not visible. Uh, you would really have to know what you're looking at and have a trained eye to see that cut you know this one over here is a little bit more visible but these oyster bars everything's not as clear as you guys saw on the historical imagery and that's just rolling back a couple of years to this image right here, it's it's night and day, and it really helps if you're fishing dirty water in you know Louisiana, Texas, the Carolinas, Georgia any of those areas that have really, really dirty water. This is probably the number one thing that I do when I go scout is I look through these different imagery tools. And even if you fish somewhere that does have a lot of clean water, for example, we'll roll down close to where I live over in Corpus Christi, where I'll show you guys an image of you know some of the bay systems that I fish. Uh, you can find a lot of stuff that you might miss on your average imagery just by looking through different years. So we've got this big bay over here. Okay, I can, I can tell where a lot of that grass is. The water's pretty clear, but I start scrolling back through and I can start seeing kind of some different hues of color, uh, some stuff that I might not have picked up on before. So I'm looking through all these images here. And I mean, look at this right here. So these two bars, something I've not really noticed much before. Uh, I can see them really clearly in this hue of water. And let's see, so this is 2009. One thing to note is that throughout the years, structure can change, but you actually recognizing it and seeing it can just be a matter of how clear the water was the day that that picture was taken. So going straight forward to 2020, we can see that these bars are still here. And if we go back to that image in 2009, it's just that I can see them a little bit more clearly now. So looking through these images is something good to do even in areas that you fish a lot and that you're familiar with because you might catch something just because of the hue of the water uh, that's gonna really help you out. But again, when you're fishing in that really dirty, nasty, muddy water, having this historical imagery tool is something that can really help you guys find some new spots and understand the dynamics of your flat a little bit better. So I hope this tip was helpful for you guys. And if you wanna see more awesome fishing information, some more tips on how to scout these satellite maps, we've got a whole mastery course on exactly how to do this in the Salt Strong Insider Club. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we literally guarantee we're gonna help you catch more redfish, more sea trout, more snook, and more flounder. There's nothing else like it. And we actually guarantee all of this with premium education, a private insider club, and enormous discounts on the best saltwater fishing tackle that you guys can get. So definitely join us in the Insider Club, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys there soon.